So let's get this up on the screen here. This is pretty cool. This is in, I forget where this is. Paraguay, maybe? Somebody in the chat will know. Anyways, let's check this out. Lago Bitcoin, wasting to hashi. Nasty use cooking oil. Oh, how dirty is it? And this is my baby right here. Mining and get wet. It's hashi. Kaboom! Lago Bitcoin, wasting to hashi. It's hashi. Kaboom! <laughs> Kaboom! How cool is that? So he's turning used cooking oil that would otherwise be that, that's a, that's the a beauty of Bitcoin mining, honestly. For years and years and years, we've been told by the media, by government, by the World Economic Forum that Bitcoin is bad for the environment. Then you see videos like that. And what would be happening with that used cooking oil after they disposed or the, after they used it? What would happen with that? They'd probably have to either pay to dispose of it or they dump it in the ocean or whatever it is, nearby river, ditches, who knows? They actually have to pay to dispose of that cooking oil. So instead of that, this very intelligent fella, Kaboom, we'll call him, he's mining Bitcoin with it. So he had his generator hooked up. I'm assuming he's using the cooking oil to power that. And the generator is mining Bitcoin. Same as here in Canada, they use the same thing with methane gas. So the, all these oil rigs, instead of actually paying to dispose of that methane gas or paying Trudeau our fifth carbon tax to send it into the atmosphere, Convert it into Bitcoin, convert it into energy, capture that energy, convert it into Bitcoin. You're done. Way better, way better. And I'm not, obviously I'm not, I, I'm what you would call a climate change or a, a climate global warming denier. That's what you call me. And I'm fine with that. But at the same time, like methane gas, I don't think that that is great for the environment. However, you want to look at it, carbon good, carbon bad. I feel like methane, methane gas is harmful to the atmosphere. So instead of sending that out there, you can capture that, convert it into Bitcoin. Kaboom. Kaboom. So that's uh, that's one use for, for Bitcoin mining. But let's watch this next video and compare. This is from BTC Prague, and I don't know if Craig's in the chat or not today, but he was actually in Prague for this. Pretty cool. He saw the sailor chat. And uh, so, unfortunately, a lot of the videos are not out yet from BTC Prague. I'm looking forward to watching them, but I did see this clip from the weekend. Uh, shout out to Yan, though, for 69 sats over in Zap.stream. Thank you for the sats. So this is uh, this is from BTC Prague. Let's watch it and then we'll discuss. Cool moment from today. This is from Joe Nakamoto. This looks really big. How can I do this? There we go. True story. I was interviewed for Deutsche Telekom in July 2022. They said, okay, you know, you're taking over the Web3 infrastructure team. You're not allowed to use that word Bitcoin in this interview if you want to get hired. Since 2023, as Joe already said, uh, we are running a Bitcoin node and we are running Bitcoin lightning nodes as well. And with a chest full of fucking pride, I like to let you in in a little secret. We will engage in digital monetary photosynthesis soon. Thank you very much. Dirk, come back, come back, come back. What does that mean in layman's terms? What's it, what is Deutsche Telekom, T-Mobile, what are you doing? What is that last phrase one more time? Digital monetary photosynthesis. So is T-Mobile mining Bitcoin? We will. You will, okay, that is phenomenal. 
Wow. Yeah, I like that. The orange journey. I didn't even notice that. The orange journey. So in two videos there, we watched a fella, kaboom, mining Bitcoin with used cooking oil. And then we watched this from BTC Prague, a fella from T-Mobile. I don't know if you've heard of them or not. T-Mobile, pretty big company. So he said that they're running a Bitcoin node. They're running numerous Bitcoin lightning nodes, and they're going to be engaging in Digital monetary photosynthesis. Digital monetary photosynthesis. So capturing the energy from the sun, from the earth, converting it into digital money. Photosynthesis. That's bigger than I can even explain, I think, on this show. T-Mobile, going to be mining Bitcoin. Think about how many companies like T-Mobile there are. When they hear that, when they see that. And, oh, like, I just don't know. And this is, uh, the reason I kind of wanted to tie this into today's show, and the, the title of today's show is called So Crazy It Just Might Work, is because think about that. Digital monetary photos, photosynthesis. What the hell is that? And we're, we're kind of at the point now in Bitcoin where stuff like this is, is happening. 99.99% of people don't know that this is happening. And this is the opportunity here in Bitcoin. And I posted a clip over the weekend and it was called, what was it? It was a short. It was talking about how Bitcoin mining is going to replace income taxes. And some of the comments I received on that video, I might try 